We're gonna take a quiz no, to no, find no. out who has cancer. <laughs> Hello, I'm Samantha, and this is my boyfriend, Gray. And today we're gonna to be doing a little bit different of a video because I just thought it would be fun. I looked up a bunch of things that people say cause cancer. We're gonna draw these cards and we're gonna see who's most likely to do the things on these cards. And then whoever has the most points um, is the most likely to get cancer. We'll see how true these things are. Yeah. This is a scientific study. It's a scientific It's double blind and it is robust for conditional heteroscedasticity. I don't know what that means. I will read the first question. Who's most likely to get a bad sunburn? Go. Yeah. You never get sunburn, I get sunburn. I just, cause I get sunburn like once, really bad. You get tan. And Fine. Point to you. I don't know. Do you really think you get more summer than me? Well, I've been careful this summer. I got sunburned last summer. Shout out to the Wind Ensemble Puerto Rico trip. Who is most likely to drink alcohol? Well. <laughs> okay. I don't drink alcohol. He does. Hey, not not a lot. Why don't you put those on either side so we know. Oh, yeah, you we'll don't have to keep score with your phone. Okay, so you get this one. I get this one. I get this one. Yeah, that works. Okay. Okay, it's one to one. Who's most likely to eat processed foods or meats? Which is like food. There you go. It's, it's me. It's, it's definitely you. <laughs> I think it's you, because... Those Cheetos. Yes! These are so good. <laughs> he Wait, likes which ones to, are you talking about? He likes to eat random food. Like I like popcorn. And it makes my fingers red. Ugh. Like, Anything flaming Hot flavored? It's just so gross. Yeah, it's good stuff. <laughs> Put it up on the wall. <laughs> oh yeah! Who's most likely to have a genetic mutation? <laughs> <laughs> I, I've never been tested for a genetic mutation. I have one. You do? It's because of my blue eyes. Oh, is that what we're talking about? No. <laughs> Having blue eyes was a genetic mutation. <laughs> Where did you get that one? It's just any genetic mutation? Certain genetic mutations mean that you have a higher risk of getting cancer. Yeah, but not every genetic mutation means that. I know. Like, have blue eyes. I know, I was kidding. That was a joke. I'm not very funny. Shouldn't have a YouTube channel. I'm gonna edit this out. <laughs> Who's most likely to be exposed to diesel exhaust? Is that really? Yeah. That's one. That's you. Roll coal diesel. He uh, loves the smell of diesel hear exhaust. Hear the whistle, see the smoke. You've been passed by a power He tells stroke. me all the time, he's like, don't you just love the smell of diesel? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a real one you found somewhere? Did you write that? No, I found that. And also the track. You're gonna get cancer. I love diesel exhaust. <laughs> it smells so good. Who's my, most likely to be exposed to the sun? No, it's like the same as the other one. Wait. But, but you're more in the sun. I'm more in the sun. Yeah. But I don't get sunburned as much. I get this one though, right? Yeah, you get that one. Yeah. You're, you're in the sun. I'm steadily in the lake here. <laughs> Who's most likely to eat sugar? Oh! That's yeah! definitely me. Well, I eat a lot of sh well, I eat a lot of junk, but I eat like salty and fatty junk. Yeah. You eat a lot of sugar. I eat sugar. I eat ice cream a lot. Yeah. And candy. Who's most likely to have a family history of cancer? I don't know. Uh, we both have a family history of cancer, but you have a longer family history of cancer. You have a family history of more cancer. You get that one. I don't have that much cancer in my family history. And neither does he. But we both yeah, have I some. Can, I can name two or three. Who's most likely to drink from a plastic water bottle? Wait, like a reusable plastic water bottle? Or... I think both. Um... Yeah. Yeah, you. I also never wash it. You just drink more water. <laughs> I drink a lot of water. Yeah. Water. And like, he doesn't care where his water comes from. Too. That's true. I'm gonna get like, whatever the things you can get from water are. Dysentery? You have died of dysentery? I'm bad at word show. Who is most likely to eat red meat? <laughs> it's me. It's definitely him. I, I mean, I, I eat red meat too, it's just I don't really like it that much. You don't eat as much red meat as me. He eats meat. Well, for the red meat and for the processed food, um, two of the most processed things is sausage. You don't like sausage. Yeah, sausage, bacon. And I love yeah. sausage. I love like every kind of sausage. Tied. Who's most likely to eat pickled food? 
<laughs> you mean pickles? I love pickles. Do I ever like any other pickled food? I don't. I would try pickled herring, but I've never had it. Pickled what? Herring. Herring. Yeah. It's a Scandinavian thing. I don't want to say which Scandinavian country because I'm not sure. I don't want to offend anyone. You like pickled onions? No. Pickled eggs? Mm. I've never had that. Pickled cabbage? Who's most likely to be exposed to radiation? 3.6 wrong. It's not great. It's not horrifying. Because I have to go through radiation. Okay. <laughs> to cure your cancer. <laughs> to cure it. They're giving me cancer by trying to cure my cancer. Those monsters. Who's most likely to use a cell phone? Yeah. I use my cell phone a lot, but I, he does more. I, I always be on that phone. Let's see what my current screen time thing says. Seven days. I might use it. Your more hour. Time. Oh, we're really close. I'm at three hours, 54 minutes per day, which is down 23% from last week. Three, 30, three hours and 32 minutes. Which yours is down 22% from last week. I'm That's weird. Like, like, we're closer than I thought. I'm I more thought... likely to be on my cell phone when I'm around other people. <laughs> That's true. Because I'm... I just have older. a boring life, so I go on my phone a lot. <laughs> Who's most likely to... most likely to get intimate before having HPV shots. <laughs> You're gonna include the whole thing, aren't you? No! What? what why am I? Because you haven't been vaccinated. <laughs> I don't... I'm, I'm not one of those people. No, you haven't gotten that shot. I just haven't had an HPV shot. I've only had two of the shots because I got a seizure after the that second one. That wasn't HPV. Yeah. No, it wasn't. The Gardasil vaccine, that's Gar for Gardasil HPV. Gardasil is for HPV? Mm -hmm. Alright, well you've had some of the shots and I haven't had any of the shots, so I guess, technically... Leave a comment if you want to hear the story of how I got a seizure after the second Gardasil shot. Hey Samantha, how did you get a seizure after the second Gardasil shot? Like, do you actually know how it happened? Um, no. <laughs> Mom, if you're watching, tell me if I've had the HPV vaccine because I don't know. Who's most likely to not get enough exercise? Three, two, I, one. I think you. Yeah, it's me. That was hard though. I walk places and he takes the bus. I like the bus. Public transport is good. I don't like buses. Who is more likely to be overweight? What? I'm gonna get diabetes. Yeah, but I'm like, BMI wise. BMI's dumb. We're both gonna be fat. I eat so much ice cream. It's still me. <laughs> I weigh more than okay, you. Okay, fine. You. <sighs> it's still my life plan to get diabetes because no, I eat too much. No, we You were gonna have diabetes and I was gonna get a stroke and we decided to cancel that. Oh yeah, that's right. Who's most likely to smoke tobacco? Wow, you're crushing me. What I'm crushing you. you. I told you I was Six, crushing seven. you. I have seven. What do you have? Eight? Ten? Yours are so neat. Who's most likely to garden slash use mm -hmm. weed killer? That's you too. That's me. Oh, sorry. I said it before. Because I live on a farm and I regularly use weed killer. Hey, Is this still on the screen? Who's most likely to use birth control or hormone therapy? Aha! I haven't used birth control, but I guess I'm more likely to. Don't you have to do some kind of hormone therapy? I will have to do some hormone therapy after so there you go. radiation. Well, you've already done some hormone stuff with, for your after IVF. After radiation? Yeah, I did. Right, which we'll put a link to. Yeah, I Some wanna... suggested video. I can put puts... some... No. Is this reversed? Is yeah, this gonna be this flipped? Is mirrored. Oh, it's mirrored. Oh, that's mirrored. Oh, then over here. Yes. Cool. I had to do some hormone therapy for my IVF egg retrieval. That's what he's saying. Right. If you would like to know about that process, there's a suggested video. Your turn. Your turn. Is it my turn? Yes. The viewers will know. Who's most <laughs> likely to use deodorant? I don't even know. <laughs> Yay. I, I think just uh, you okay. because you we, probably put it on more, but. Yeah. It causes cancer though? Cause I use like extra strength deodorant. Some of I these smell bad. <laughs> Some of these things are more real than others. Deodorant. Well, I, I use stronger deodorant than you. I just think people are looking for things that cause cancer. Well, some things cause cancer. Some things do cause cancer. Okay. Some of these genetic things cause mutation cancer. and the family history, sure. But smoking like, tobacco. 
Okay, smoking tobacco. I'm not a smoker, by the way. I he just doesn't like smoke. A cigar every now and then, <laughs> and I have a pipe. Who's most likely to work through the night slash have an irregular sleep cycle? <laughs> I like my sleep. I gotta have my sleep. My sleep was all over the place in college. Mine could be bad though, in law school, but you chances are, are I'm gonna get my sleep. I will work through the night all the time. Who's most likely to clean, in parentheses, use cleaning product? Yeah. Yeah. Why though? Because I think I am cleaner, but he, he cleans more. You clean more. Yeah, I guess that's fair. Okay. But I don't really know I mean, why I agree. that is. I agree, but I'm not sure I can put it either, because I... You, know. <laughs> you, you definitely clean more than I do. I, I don't so think maybe I'm can... living in filth. Maybe. I don't think you can catch up to me, but go ahead and try. Oh, man. He's most likely to wear a bra. <laughs> That's a dumb one. Well, what do your bras cause? Uh, they obstruct lymph flow. So it also cause breast cancer? Apparently. A lot of people said that that was dumb. They, that wasn't proven. Who is most likely to have implants or foreign objects in the body? Because I might have to. A mastectomy? I might have a mastectomy and get implants. That's a fun one. Yeah, this video was super fun. Last one. Who's most likely to drink hot drinks? I don't drink coffee, neither of us drink coffee. We both don't drink coffee. You, th you like tea. I like tea, but I don't drink it that often. You don't drink it. I was gonna say me because I also don't really drink hot drinks that often, but at work we have a hot chocolate slash coffee maker. Do you use it? And I, I do drink hot chocolate. Not that often, but probably more often than you drink hot drinks. Wait, so how many do you have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, I have 12. I have 13. Oh wow, that was close. Wait, really? You got 12? Yeah. We had 25 total. Wow. What do you know? He's more likely to get cancer. I'm more likely to get cancer. <laughs> But I have cancer. Is it having cancer? I feel like yeah, that. Yeah, like that. one actually. <laughs> I feel like I could just take down all of these and just put have cancer. This was fun. This was fun. <laughs> Let us know down below if you would like us to do a more normal version of this challenge. What does that mean? Like a not cancer one? Yeah. If you like this video, uh, give it a thumbs up and check out some of the other videos I've done and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Follow me on Instagram to follow along with my cancer journey. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.